Remember when VidCon was this magical, iconic time of the year where all your favorite YouTubers would meet up with each other for the first time and also fangirl over their favorites? Or when everybody in O2L met for the first time and then created O2L? That was the best. I was like a child back then watching this, like freaking out. But this year, VidCon was basically the TikTok convention and I wasn't planning on talking about it much further than a little bit because in a day or two, you guys will see that I mentioned it in a video, but just, you know, ignore that now. But uh, yeah, anyway, VidCon turned into COVIDCon and we need to talk about it much further than what I kind of already talked about in a video that you probably haven't seen yet. So this is going to be the more in-depth what the F went down at VidCon because it was just not like it used to be. Or at least it just didn't feel like how it felt in previous years where influencers were coming together, meeting each other, and it was such a fun experience for the creators to also meet each other. Whereas now with social media, pretty much everybody that's big knows each other, right? Like Charlie D'Amelio knows James Charles. James Charles knows Tana. Like they might not all be on good terms, but they know about each other and they're not going to be at VidCon like, oh my God, like screaming to meet each other. Whereas before, during VidCon, I feel like a a lot of creators were meeting each other for the first time or reuniting and they were so excited and happy to see each other. But now most influencers just live in LA or they're part of a group or they're flying in and they already know people. And it's not this crazy, big, exciting experience. Now it just looks like, oh, they're there because they're obligated to for their job. This is a work event for them. And they don't actually seem like they're having fun at VidCon like creators once used to have fun at this event. It just felt like a big melting pot at one point and now it's, I don't even think they're networking. I feel like all the influencers are seemingly in competition with each other so they don't want to actually like collab and make videos together, not like on YouTube or anything. That just feels like outdated at this point. Nobody wants to do that. But I love that back then that made VidCon feel like such a special thing to watch. Even just if you were sitting at home, not even attending VidCon, watching videos of people at VidCon, watching your favorites meet each other, watching people starting to collab, watching friendships start to bloom. That was so exciting for people. And this year was definitely a lot different than all the other years because TikTok was hosting instead of YouTube. So it was feeling like a very big TikTok convention. It seemed like TikTokers had packed meet and greets, but YouTubers this year were feeling a bit out of place. Alex Wasabi made a TikTok saying he didn't have anyone in his meet and greet, but Charlie D'Amelio, who was right next to him, had a jam packed meet and greet. Him and a friend also decided to get a little messy by making a TikTok joking about his ex-girlfriend, Lore DIY. Oh my God, they got ice cream. Oh, Nerd. And she hit him back with this response. So that's something that happened at VidCon. Obviously, Lauren was at home when she filmed her part of it, so it's not like they had to interact with each other this weekend, which probably would have been a little awkward. I think they're on pretty good terms. According to Lauren's comment section, she was saying that it's all good between them, no drama, but this was just something funny that happened during VidCon this weekend. But going back to this YouTube versus TikTok conversation, TikTok just seems to be the place these days. And I really wonder where you guys stand in terms of what you're using more or who you're following. Do you guys think that you're following more YouTubers or you're following more TikTokers? And which app do you think you're using more these days? Is it YouTube? Is it TikTok? Let me know. It's crazy to think that this used to be a YouTube convention and VidCon was all about the YouTube bubble, but it's expanding and a lot of the speakers at the convention this year were TikTokers. A lot I didn't know and some I recognize from my daily scrolls. Charlie D'Amelio did a Q&A during the convention where she was asked about how it feels to be dethroned from her title as most followed person on TikTok because she was recently passed up. We've got Jade. How do you feel about Carly Lane taking over your TikTok? I feel great. I mean, I had 
number one for two years. I feel like it's time for someone else to have that spot. And I'm proud of him he's a friend, but I'm, it's, there's no bad blood, I promise you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it feels great to know that someone else is getting that spot, someone that is sweet and a good person and loves what they do. I think that that's the best feeling, and I wouldn't want to hand it over to anyone else. Now, for the real star of the convention, Miss Coronavirus. Yeah, it seems like the event quickly turned into a super spreader event as all these influencers are now coming out to say that they have got COVID. Besides just the meet and greets, influencers attended parties. And this is the other thing. Some of the influencers only went to VidCon for the parties. So they didn't go as a feature creator. They didn't go to do a meet and greet. They didn't walk around the event. They didn't do a panel. They didn't speak. None of that. They only went to the influencer parties at the end of the night, which is quite a hike. Like if you live in LA and you're going to Anaheim for a party, like don't have a drink because it's like a long way home and definitely going to get car sick if you're in an Uber. It's just sad that I guess people didn't want to go to the event itself, but only wanted to go to the party. Something about that just is sad. But James Charles was one of the people that only went to the party, didn't go to VidCon, but was there at the Instagram, I believe. Instagram hosted a party and yes, he was there in attendance. And well, that probably wasn't the best idea because he posted onto his story that following the convention, he actually got COVID. He posted on his Instagram story saying, are you effing kidding me? Followed by stay tuned for the urgent care test results. I don't trust the at-home ones. And then another week of quarantine, here I come. And he expressed some further frustration on his Instagram story. I am so mad right now it's not even funny i'm so pissed i can't even pretend to get on my stories and be like it's okay everybody i'm just gonna quarantine yes yes this is my second potentially third time having covid oh my god i'm still almost like sure that i was patient zero back in january of 2020 because i had all the exact symptoms of covid before it was even like a named virus i had it six months ago that was the first time like i actually tested positive for coronavirus and now this morning y'all saw the story Oh my God, I'm fully vaccinated. I have every single one of my shots. And yes, I know that getting the vaccine does not prevent COVID. Okay, this is not an anti-vaxxer story. Get your shots, girl. But Miss Majona, she's in her flop era. Inside of my body, I'm so upset. Oh my God, I'm so mad. I had so many things to do this week and I'm just gonna have to sit here and do nothing. And he definitely isn't the only one. Influencers have been coming out left and right to say that they also caught it. Caught the VidCon COVID. I just got COVID, y'all. Whoever was near me at VidCon, please take the proper precautions out there. Been home for two days and tested positive for COVID. Was only a matter of time, I guess. LOL. Vaccine doing work since I just have a sore throat and stuffy nose. We have to cancel our plans for the rest of the week, though. No Hella Mega Tour or Tommy Live Show. Proper gutted. Journalist Taylor Lorenz was at the event herself and tweeted out VidCon's decision not to even remotely try to mitigate, prevent COVID had very predictable results. Thinking of all the high-risk workers staff who continue to be put in these situations because event organizers can't be bothered to take basic safety measures. So an event for influencers, are we surprised that there was drama? Kind of not really, especially with this having happened. It was a big event and I'm sure there's a lot of people that decided to go even if they were sick or feeling under the weather because they wanted to go to this and see influencers and see their favorite people and just irresponsible and that sucks because a lot of other people have COVID now and a lot of people on Twitter are just saying it's really selfish that these people decided to still go to the convention. There's also a lot of people that are upset at VidCon at not doing a better job at making sure that things were safer. Also, I noticed a lot of the people online during the meet and greets when photos were kind of getting posted, they were upset with creators that were wearing masks saying that was just annoying because they were in a meet and greet and then you couldn't see their face. But I'm sure that those creators are really happy that they did wear a mask or anybody that wore a mask that was in attendance. I'm sure they're really happy because I haven't seen those people post that they got COVID. So. I'm sure that they are like really giving a big F you to the people that were making fun of them for wearing a mask. But this was a very big convention. So, I mean, a lot of people were saying that it was bound to happen. But, you know, I hope that if any of you guys went to VidCon that you're feeling okay. 
definitely sounded like an interesting one. If you guys were there, what was it like? Did you feel like the vibe was TikTok over YouTube? That's just what it seemed like on the internet based on how everyone was posting about it, which makes sense because TikTok hosted the event. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs> my